Hey guys, this is Jamin from Point Tech. We're bringing you a motherboard replacement video. Uh, today we're working on an HP Stream 11. Uh, so let's get into this. Flip it over. Start taking the screws out. One there, one there, one there, and then four on the bottom. We'll start with that. Try to keep your screws together if you're doing this. We do it all the time so we can kind of tell what screws go where, but try to keep your bottom case screws together and your motherboard screws together because they may not always fit each other's spot when you go to put them back. A magnetized screwdriver helps. If you don't have one, just set your screwdriver on a, a big battery, sorry, not a battery, blah, 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 a big magnet for 15-20 minutes. All right, so those screws are off. Uh, if, if you notice, this computer has rubber feet. Uh, some people like hiding uh, screws under there, so let's check it out. Take a, f a small flathead. Be careful, because you can break these, but slide it underneath, pry it off. Okay, so there's none, no screws under there. It'll stick back on. I'm assuming that goes for that one. All right, so let's try this one here. Oh, yep. All right, so we got screws on our our backside ones. All right, so let's take those out. And that's good you found those because you'll be trying to muscle this thing off, which you can do. It's plastic, but you'll break it if you don't have all the screws off. All right. There are also two little rubber feet in the corners. Let's see if they hit screws in there. Yes, they did. All right. Because eight screws are not enough. We need ten. All right, so take those screws off. All right, so fairly confident I have all my screws off. Always go slow, though, because there is always a chance that you're missing one, so don't don't just rip it off. Take your pry tool, a small flat metal pry tool. Um, that's kind of dirty. Can't clean up. Uh, insert this under your palm rest, right there. There's a seam, and then just start popping it up. Ah. Hmm. Being a little pain in the butt-ish. just being a pain in the butt because I'm on making a video out of this. It doesn't want to cooperate. Just gonna keep going around, find that sweet spot where it actually is gonna respond to what you're doing. Sorry it's taken so long, but this is pretty typical. Oh, get a little more there. Sometimes they just have these in so tight. You know what it's looking like? It's looking like the battery. Stuck to it. Woo! There we go. Alright, so that finally came off. Muscled it a little too much, but luckily I didn't break it. So, these are the clips that came off. I'll show you. This should have come up like this. But I'll show you the clips that came off. This first clip is your uh, keypad clip. That was inside like this. Uh, this clip went in here. I'll just show you how to 
take these off. So if you would not have just ripped it off like I did, you put these uh, little plastic pins up and then you slide these things out. Put it up, slide it out. Same thing, this one wasn't here, but it came off in there, so. Put that aside. I think it was stuck to the battery, I think. So this is what the insides look like. And again, we're going after your motherboard. One thing we always do at Point Tech is we unplug the battery first. Um, if you're poking around with a screwdriver in here, I mean, they, they have a protective covering over the motherboard. But some motherboards don't, and there could be holes in this. And you could touch something, you could spark, you could wreck your motherboard. Which you may not care about, because you're replacing it anyway. But so I'll take off this little piece of tape. Uh, slide your battery clip out like that. Don't pull on the cords because you can pull it off of the off of the port. But now your mother, uh, your battery's unplugged, so we're safe. This looks like it's your speaker wire in there. Let's go ahead and unplug this. Get a little bit there, a little bit there. Nail and screwdriver combo. There we go. Unplug that. Uh, you have your card slot there, connect to the motherboard, put that pin up, pull that out. Uh, what else do we got? We got your power jack, unplug that. There we go. Uh, your Wi Fi card is plugged in, so we are going to unplug the Wi Fi card fairly easily. Take out the Wi Fi screw. Slide the Wi-Fi card out. There we go. Uh, what else? Your video cable comes in here. Connects it to your LCD. Pull that pin up. Just like the other ones. Slide it out. Alright, looks like we're fairly detached. Let's we'll start doing some screws. You got a screw right here. Screw right here. Another one over here. Another one over here. Fair amount of screws in this motherboard. There. Okay, I think I got them all. All right, quick look real quick. I think I got them all. So let's pull this thing out. Uh, sometimes it gets stuck here with your USB push to wiggle it out of there. Ooh, what's this? There you go, that's your motherboard. So at this point you would take your new motherboard now, slide it into just where this came from, get it into your USB ports, and make sure you don't put it on top of any of these cables or ribbons that you're going to plug into it, because you get it all screwed down and then you'll lose them. I'm going to put this little plastic thing back in there. Must have been there for a reason. Try to always do that. If, if you see a piece of tape that they have, try to keep it where it's supposed to be. If you see a little uh, cushioning like that, I mean they're all in there for a reason, so your computer will just work better with them all in. Now I'm going to go through and put all my screws back in my motherboard. Hopefully you either remembered where they were, or you had a, a uh, marker or something, and you marked where the screws are. It's also good sometimes to uh, take a picture with your cell phone of where all, all these screws went. Anything to help you remember where to put them because you'll find there's a lot more holes than there are screws, so they go in certain places. Ah. Oh, yep, I missed one right here. Okay. Uh, next, I'm going to put my Wi-Fi card back in. Slide that in there. Put the screw down. Plug my antenna back in. These things are kind of a pain in the butt. Sometimes the only way to do it is to hold it, get it right where you know it should be, and then just kind of push it down. There we go, with a screwdriver or something. They're a pain. I'm going to plug back in my power jack. Also a good idea, it, it, it's always a good idea to, to take a picture of this stuff just so you know where everything plugged into. Because you don't want to 
think you plugged everything in, close all this up and then realize you didn't plug in your power jack and it won't charge or you didn't plug in your speakers and you don't get any sound. So taking a picture when you're new at this is always a good idea. Video cable. Make sure everything's in there nice and secure and flush. I'm actually going to reseat this one because I think I may have gutted in crooked. Uh, what else? Get your speakers over here. Not a lot of room in that cable. There you go. Alright, got my ribbon there. Antenna, Wi Fi. Alright. Last but not least, plug in my battery. Alright, so now that the motherboard's back in, I'm going to put back in my ribbon cables here. This one went in. They'd be very careful with these uh, clips. They're very, very flimsy plastic. They're very breakable. Um, I'm actually surprised I didn't break any of them tearing this thing off earlier. But Alright, put that down. You can hear a lot of snap and popping going on, putting this back in. Snap, 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 snap. Alright. Snap that all back in. Then you would replace your uh, screws in those two things. Put those two little rubber stoppers back. Put the screws in here. Put the two round rubbers back. And then your screws in here. And that is how you would replace the motherboard on an HP Stream 11. Uh, if this was helpful, please like the video. If you like do-it-yourself laptop repair, please feel free to subscribe. And thank you for watching.